Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry if I sound so tired. It's because it's five o'clock in the morning and I just woke up to get ready for work. So, um, hopefully I'll perk up by the end of this video. Um, so today I'm gonna be doing a full face video using Nabla Cosmetics. They were so nice. If you saw my Instagram, they sent me a giant box of stuff and I was not expecting it at all. Like they reached out to me, said they wanted to send me a couple things. And I said, okay, you know, and then I get a box and it is literally full of literally a full face of everything. So I'm gonna be doing a video doing a full face of Nabla just because I, I mean, I have it all. I've never tried it before and I'm very curious to try everything. So yeah, that's what we're doing today. I just threw on some moisturizer. This is one I've been using a lot lately, the Neutrogena Deep Moisture Cream. So the first thing I'm trying is their skin products. I'm gonna go, should I go skin first or should I do my eyes first? I think I'm gonna do skin first today because when I do skin first, I feel like my makeup takes less time to do. So this is the foundation. They sent me this little box. It had um, one full size and then uh, the rest of the colors in little minis so I could find my right color. I think they assumed this would be my right color and they were actually pretty much right. So I think I'm just gonna use this one. It looks fine. Maybe a little yellow, but I think it'll be fine and we'll be able to work with it. So I'm gonna use this foundation. The box came with a sponge. This is a sponge I, um, they offer and it's super soft. I wet it, it feels really nice. So let's just give this a shot. Just to give you a little info, it says, this is the close-up futuristic foundation. Even out your complexion in a seamless second skin perfection with this weightless ultra minimal foundation. Innovative texture gives luminous matte finish and soft focus effect with medium buildable coverage. That sounds like something I want. So I'm gonna take the sponge and start applying this and see what is up. If you guys notice, my cheek is swollen. My lovely wisdom tooth is rearing its ugly head again and getting infected. I am the type of person that I, when it comes to like anything that has to do with teeth or the dentist, I just, you know, I put it off until I absolutely cannot put it off anymore, like anything that I need to get fixed. And that is what is happening with my wisdom tooth because it got infected like months ago and I just ignored it, you know? Got some antibiotics got it taken care of and then it went away for eight months so I just forgot about it and guess what she's back and she is pissed so I will be getting her removed here hopefully in a couple days or a couple weeks and yeah so until then she is making herself known over here um, all right, so here is one layer of that. So yeah, definitely a medium coverage. You can still see some of my spots and things, but otherwise it's really evened out. Everything looks very even. Sorry, my hair looks like crazy. We're just, it's really early guys. Okay, so be nice, don't come for me. It is so early. The only negative I could see so far for this is that I feel like I had to use quite a bit of foundation to cover this area that I might not have had to use with other foundations. It could be the sponge is soaking up too much, but I mean, I use sponges all the time and I never have that issue, but I do definitely feel like this it blends in really fast, which is nice, but it doesn't move as far, if that makes sense. So it's almost like you're gonna have to use more than you might have to use with the other foundation that will spread further. Okay, next is the Close Up Concealer, which you guys have probably seen people use before a million times. Um, looks very reminiscent of the Tarte Shape Tape, actually. Very curious. Um, so it doesn't say in the box what it's supposed to do. Um, but from what I've seen other people use it, it seems like it's like extra full coverage. So this is what the applicator looks like. Again, like kind of reminiscent of shirt tart shape tape. And let's just see what's up. So I'm gonna put this 
under my eyes like I normally would. The first thing I noticed when I first opened this, because this is the first time I'm actually trying it, but I did like open it and put it in my hand to feel it, is it smells like the beach. Oh my God, it smells like coconut. They scented this coconut and it smells so much like the beach that I'm kind of in love. I usually don't like scents in products, but this one is so like softly scented and it's such like a nice, calming, pretty scent, you know, that I'm totally honestly fine with it. It makes me smell like the beach and I'm kind of obsessed, like honestly, I'm obsessed. Um, so yeah, that is the scent on that. If you don't like coconut, you won't like it, but if you like coconut, if you love things that smell very beachy, you will really like the scent of this. So it's definitely covering really well. It's blending really well in the, into the foundation. So you can see it, um, because my cheeks weren't fully covered by the foundation, the concealer did kind of like fully cover those things that were still visible. And that's why I don't really get bothered too much. Like when I talk about um, a lot in my videos, how I like foundations that are medium coverage, but buildable, it's like perfect because then you can like build it up a, a little bit as much as you want without looking like full caked all over. And then when you put your concealer on, it will kind of do the rest of it for you. You know what I'm saying? Like it'll finish the job for you. I'm gonna put a little extra in my inner corner cause I didn't get any in there. The texture of the concealer is not like Tarte Shape Tape. So even though it looks like it's in a similar type container, it does not feel like that. It feels much thinner and more um, lightweight, I guess, than the Tarte Shape Tape. So I wouldn't compare them actually at all. Next, the um, Close Up Smoothing Powder. This is the shade Light. So I'm gonna use this under my eyes. So I think that they did really good in terms of the foundation colors. Like there's a really great range of foundation colors to choose from, um, which is really nice. You guys know I, I talk a lot about shade ranges whenever I'm like doing reviews, especially on face products. And this concealer is creasing right close to my eye, like my under eye area, just an FYI. Um, you guys know that's really important to me and I talk about that a lot. And um, so I think their shade range on their foundations is really great. However, the shade range on the powder is not so much. There's, well, I only got three, so I can't be 100%. I will put a blurb in here if I am wrong. But if the three powders in this box are all that they make, I think there's definitely a lot of room in terms of their foundations and kind of growing their color range, or sorry, their powders and growing that color range because the dark one is like not even dark. Um, so yeah, this is the shade medium and there's only one more darker than this in the box and that's what I'm talking about. Like the shade range could be better, but these could be really sheer also and a lot of times sheer powder, you don't really need a lot of colors because it'll work on so many different people. But yeah, I'm gonna take this shade medium and put this all over. This is a brush that came in that box as well. It says it's the Big Powder Brush is the name of this one. So from what I um, experienced, sort of just like, you know, opening everything, and I gave, like, like touched everything, I swatched some things, like whatever. Um, but these powder, not the powder brushes, but the brushes in general are so freaking soft. They are so soft. Um, yeah, I'm like kind of, it's crazy. Do you see my forehead? Let me turn this lighting down a little bit because I want you to really notice my forehead right now and how many deep lines are in my forehead. This never happens. Honestly, I think it's the concealer. So when I said my under eyes were creasing, it was the, definitely the concealer and I can see how much this conceals creasing on my forehead to where it looks like I'm 80 years old. The foundation, when it was just the foundation on its own, it was not doing that. So I'm not sure if this concealer is going to be for me um, because it obviously creases really bad. 
All right, so that is done. I am so annoyed by these clips right now. It's making me look like a mid-century woman with like just hair sitting right here. Like what is happening? Let me see if I get them any better. My God. Okay, so there is foundation, concealer, powder done. Um, first impression, uh, that concealer is probably not for me. Um, the powder is very smoothing, but yeah, the concealer, like I feel like everywhere I put the concealer, my face looks cakey and wrinkly and weird. Like right here on my chin where I put that concealer looks terrible. Now, this might not have been the best day to try these complexion things because I got a chemical peel yesterday. And so right now I kind of can't tell if my skin is peeling because of a chemical peel or because this stuff is just not working. Yeah. I will make sure that I put a little comment in this video um, as I'm going with everything. If anything changes, like for example, this foundation, you know, if you know, a week from now, because it'll probably take me a little bit to put this video up. Um, if I try it again and it's like completely fine and I can tell it was just my chemical peel making my skin act up, I will make sure I tell you guys that. So you have like the best information. But right now, as of right now, I like the foundation the way it looked. I like the powder the way it worked, but the concealer I think is throwing everything off for me. Okay, so really quick, I'm gonna throw on some bronzer. I didn't get a bronzer, so I'm gonna use a bronzer I've been using a lot lately, ever since I got it, and it's amazing, and it has taken over my MAC um, Global Glow Skin Finish I've been using a lot for you guys. It's taken over every bronzer that I've used in a while because it's just literally so beautiful and amazing. So Revlon sent me like um, some of their new Candid Glow Foundation, and then they sent me these two new products they recently came out with. Um, and they're called skin lights and it's a bronzers and highlights there and there's two shades in each of these they sent me one shade of each and they sent me this bronzer shade this is the one called 110 sunlit glow this bronzer is so perfect and beautiful and i know this is a revlon one brand video i mean no it isn't a revlon video this is about nabla but I don't have a bronzer, so I'm just gonna use this, and I might as well tell you guys that this bronzer is the most perfect bronzer of life, and I don't know how I have been bronzing before this. Like, it's literally so freaking good. Um, it blends in so well. It looks so beautiful and glowy, really reminiscent of that MAC one that I really like to use. Um, but this is obviously way less expensive and it's just so freaking pretty. Like the color is so perfect. Every time I put this on, it just like blends in so seamlessly. You guys honestly need it. It's really, really, really good. Um, and the highlighter is honestly just as good. Like the highlighter is insane too. I'm not going to use it today because, um, I do have highlighters from Nabla, but, um, oh my God the highlighter. I've been using it every single day. Okay, face is done. And now I'm going to zoom in a, in a little bit for you guys. And we're going to start working in the eyes because this is what I'm honestly so excited about out of everything. So they sent me quite a few eyeshadow palettes and I honestly don't know what to use. So they sent me the little cutie palettes and they sent me the coral one, which is this guy, which is beautiful. I like this, but I'm not going to use this. I know for sure I'm not going to use this one today. They sent me the nude palette, which I kind of want to use today. <laughs> this is really pretty. And then they sent me the Dreamy 2, which I also am really drawn to. It's really gorgeous. They sent me the Secret palette, which is also really pretty. And I'm really drawn to this palette. And then finally, they sent me the Poison Garden palette which is also really beautiful. I know I'm not gonna use this one though. Okay. We're narrowing it down. God, I really wanna use this one. Really wanna use this one. But I also kinda really wanna use this one and the other one too. So I wonder if I should like put them all together 
and use them all together or use them separately. Okay. Okay. I think I'll skip this one for today. Also the secret palette, but I will be using that in the future because it's beautiful. So now it's really just down to these two. And I think I'm just going to mix these two, honestly, to do my look today. Yeah. So I'm going to do, so I'm going to do this dreamy two and the nude palette. And we're going to kind of pull from both for this look. So I'm going to start off by priming my eyes. I'm going to use the concealer, which I'm really torn about because it creased so bad. So I'm like, well, that's not going to be good for eyeshadow if it creases, but we will see. So I'm going to put a little bit of that on and blend it in with a sponge. For this look, I am going to use the eye brushes they sent over, which just look like this. Same, that same very soft hair like the face brushes. So I'm starting off with this sort of like flat, fluffy one. So it's called the Large Blender. And I'm gonna start off in the Dreamy 2 palette and take this shade Pantheon in the corner. And I'm gonna use this to place under my brow bone, just to set this area under my brow bone, right above my crease. I'm then gonna take the Precision Soft Crease Brush and start with my first crease color and I'm gonna use the shade Deja Vu. And I'm just gonna start blending this all the way across my crease. So off the bat, just using this first color, um, and I have swatched a lot of them. I think I honestly swatched all of them because I was just really excited to see the different colors. Um, I can already tell this pigmentation is gonna be insane. Like just using this light brown color, like these show up very intensely without trying. Like this, I don't feel, this is going to be a palette or like an eyeshadow brand in general where you're going to have issues with pigmentation and building up the shades. And so far there's really minimal um, powderiness in the pan, which you guys know I really like because why would you want to waste product with fallout? It's stupid. Um, so yes, yeah, so far impressed. I'm really interested to see how the more shimmery shades go on, as well as like the deeper shades. I am gonna use a black today just to see how intense the black is because I saw people commenting online that it was really, really, really dark. So I'm very interested to see if it really is dark or not. Now this isn't my ideal brush size for what I'm doing right now. You guys know I usually use like the Morphe M504 for this type of blending, which is like a giant blending brush, but I just want to make sure I use as much of their stuff as I can in the video to get like a true impression of the brand as a total. So that's why I'm using this brush, even though it might not be my ideal size or shape for this, but it's still working obviously just fine. Now I'm going to go into the shade No Doubts from the Cutie Palette and I'm going to deepen up the crease with this color. So one thing I've noticed about some of these matte shades is the mattes in these palettes to me on feel and as I'm putting them on, they're very reminiscent to me of the Natasha Denona mattes. So you know how when I talked about my Natasha Denona video, if you saw that one or if you've ever really used her products at all, she's got like her regular like powder matte formula, but then she has mattes that she calls her cream mattes, which are like just insanely pigmented matte colors, um, but they feel almost like wet and creamy. These Nabla palettes kind of have the same thing. There are some mattes, like the first light shade I used and the first transition shade I used were just like kind of regular, really pigmented, creamy, like, like powder mattes. But then like this shade I'm using and some of the next ones I'm gonna be using, have that feeling like they are a cream, like they almost feel wet, but they're still matte um, and they show up like extra pigmented. Okay, next I'm grabbing this brush. This is the pointed crease brush. And I'm gonna go back into the Dreamy 2 palette and I'm gonna take the shade Offline, which is a really, really dark brown. And I'm gonna start packing this very gently in my outer corner and we're going to put this in the outer crease as well and this actually comes off a lot more plum than i thought it would be looking in the pan like looking in the pan i thought it was going to be dark brown 
but it's actually a dark plum color. So we will make that work. I think I'm gonna go back in with this blending brush and I'm gonna take the shade New Past here and I'm gonna like run this over the edge of that dark color to make sure it's not too purple looking. Okay, now finally for the kind of matte shades, I'm gonna go into the black shade here called Plastic from the mini little cutie palette. And we will see how dark this is. I'm gonna use this same like smaller crease type brush and be really careful to not get fallout because so far I have zero fallout. trying to press this color and I'm dabbing into the tiniest amount at a time so that way I'm getting like good pigmentation but I'm not overdoing it and I'm not getting fallout but I dipped my finger it looks like into one of the colors and got it on my face which is great okay so that is where we're at right now and that is looking so good I feel very sultry which was kind of what I was going for I was like I want to look like this is like an Italian brand, and I was thinking to myself, like, I want to look like a beautiful, sultry Italian woman by the time I'm done with this, so let's see if we can get there. Um, I'm now going to go into one of these shimmery shades in this palette because they're amazing. I think I'm going to use this one, which is called Glorious. Now, I have tried these, uh, like, swatched um, on my hand, just on my dry hand, like, on their own, and they seem so insanely pigmented. However, you guys know to make my shimmers last all day and to make them pop as much as possible because you know that's what I'm going for. You already know I'm gonna use my peaches and cream glitter base first because I just have gotten to a point where this is what I do on a daily basis whenever I'm using shimmers. I just like doing this and putting this on my lid because again, I wanna make the most out of my shimmers. I don't want like you know, just a good shimmer. I want like an insane shimmer. So I just do this no matter what, no matter how good the shimmer is. So yeah, I'm gonna take the shade Glorious, which is this bottom shade. Just use my finger and tap this on top. And it is actually glorious, this color. It's a super pretty bronze color. And as usual, I'm gonna take that all over my lid and then kind of when I have as much of it off my finger as possible. I'll just take the excess and dab that up towards the crease so it sort of just like fades really nicely into the crease and there isn't a harsh difference between the light and the crease. And then for the inner corner to add a pop, I'm gonna take the shade Lucid Dream from the Dreamy 2 palette. Alright, so I did one eye, okay, I did a couple things off camera. I just took the same exact colors I used on top and put them on the bottom. That's literally no different than I usually do. I used my e.l.f. dark black liner that I always do and just did the same colors like I said on top, on the bottom, because my camera battery is dying, so I needed to plug it in for at least a little bit. So I did that, and then I put on the, um, mascara, lashes, brows, and I'm gonna do it over here obviously so you can see how everything works. I just needed to save a little bit of time so that my camera wouldn't die so fast. Okay, so I'm gonna use the mascara from Nabla. It's called the Major Pleasure Mascara. Now, I did use this yesterday. Um, I was off yesterday and I just used it to try it just to have something on and this mascara is really, really good. So you guys know I love my e.l.f. Plump It Up Mascara. I like the MAC In Extreme Dimension Mascara. Um, I like the Too Faced Better Than Sex, the Benefit Roller Girl, like all those are some of my favorites. And this is so similar to all of my favorites. So this is gonna be in the same kind of genre as all those. So like very, very dark, very instantly volumizing and lifting. Um, I like this a lot. It looked really great on its own and it did wear all day without um, getting crumbly or anything. Now, if that's the only negative I could ever say about my e.l.f. Plump It Up mascara, which I really love, 
is that obviously it's very inexpensive, which is good, but that does come with some drawbacks. It does get a little crumbly sometimes um, compared to like some higher end ones, but I still love it so much. But yeah, this is gonna give you kind of that similar vibe where it's like a very volumized, very intense, very dark kind of look to your lashes. And I like the wand. The one thing I don't like about the MAC um, and the Roller Girl from Benefit is I don't like plastic wands. And that's something I really love about like my e.l.f. mascara, about the Too Faced mascara, and definitely about this one is it's just like a regular kind of fiber wand. It's not like a plastic wand. Because the plastic ones, I feel like they hurt. <laughs> like, honestly, they hurt my eyes. So I definitely really like this a lot better. So that's what it looks with one coat on the top and bottom. You can see really nice and dramatic. But I love lashes. So I have to put on lashes. And I wasn't going to, but I think especially with how dark the eye makeup is, how kind of intense I went with my eyebrows, I feel like lashes really just kind of pull it all together. So today I'm going to be using these ones right here. These are from the brand um, Slay Babe Lashes, and this is the style Calabasas. While my glue is drying, I'm going to start doing my eyebrows. So I'm going to use the Nabla Brow Divine Brow Pencil. This is the shade Venus, which is like a blonde. And then I'm also going to use their um, Brow Pot in the shade Neptune, which says a medium ash. So it's like a medium, very like ashy cool brown. So I'm going to use both of those today to get my brows. So I'm going to start off with this pencil. And I'm going to use this just along the top of my brow and the front so that I can start to get some like softer definition here. And then I'm going to do a lot of the more intense definition along the bottom. But this brow pencil works very well. It is very similar to, again, kind of all the brow style, well, the brow pencils I really enjoy most. So like some of my favorites are going to be like, the um, Morphe Brow Pencil, I really love that one. I like the Benefit Precisely My Brow. Um, this is kind of along those same lines, so it's a very small tip to it, and it is a very nice, like, firm, waxy kind of texture, which I prefer in brow pencils, because I don't like when brow pencils are too creamy, because then your brows get kind of slidey and oily looking and they kind of go all over the place. So I like this one a lot because it is that nice firm kind of wax. So I just did that light color, as I said, I just wanted to do it along the top and then towards the front. And now I'm gonna take this brow cream and I'm gonna use this angled brush that came in the same set with the rest of the eye brushes. And I'm going to get some of this on here. This brow product, this cream one is very pigmented, so you definitely want to be careful if you got this to not overdo it. And I'm going to use this along the bottom. And this is going to give us our definition, and then I will blend it up towards the top of the brow. All right, so now I'm going to do some face color, some blush, and it was really hard to choose what I wanted to use for this because they sent over a bunch of these. Um, highlighters but there's a couple shades in them that are definitely very like blushy kind of colors and then they also sent over this palette which is literally amazing like this color in particular um like wow <laughs> so i kind of want to use this but then i also kind of want to use this color in like the highlighter Oh, I think maybe I'll use both. I'll start with this one first. That's pretty. Very glittery. So if you are not into glitter, you will hate this so much. But I am into glitter, so that's actually really pretty. But I think I'm gonna also put this um, on top. This is the Skin Glazing Glass Skin Finish Glow Powder in the shade Truth. And it's sort of like a soft, corally pink color. Oh yeah, that gives much more color for sure. Maybe too much color, whoops. Okay, so let's try to blend that out a little bit. It's funny, I thought this was gonna give me so much more color than the other product. I don't know, just by the way it looks in the pan, but definitely not. 
Okay, and then to highlight today, I'm gonna use another one of these skin glazing powders, except I'm gonna use the shade Amnesia, which is a really beautiful, like golden highlight color. And I'm actually just gonna use the same brush to apply this. This is such a pretty powder. I like put this on just bare skin when I first got this package in, just because I could not wait to try this. And this highlight is gorgeous. It's very, very smooth, not chunky, not thick looking. Like this is that make your skin look just wet kind of highlight. It's beautiful. So I'm basically drowning in this because like I said, that concealer made me look kind of like dry and meh. So I'm kind of going overboard with this to make sure I look really dewy and intense, which I definitely do. Okay, and now finally the lip. I am gonna do a nude lip because I'm boring, but I also think it would look best with this look. So they sent me some of these um, dreamy, creamy liquid lipsticks, and then also some um, regular bullet lipsticks. And I'm gonna use the bullet lipsticks because there is this color which upon swatching, I was like, bitch, look at how beautiful that is. It's like a perfect brownie, pinky, slightly pinky nude, but mostly brown. It is beautiful. I haven't tried it on my lips yet. I've only swatched it on my hand, so I'm very excited. I'm just gonna use like a normal lip pencil like I would normally use, because uh, I didn't get any lip pencils from them and I usually they make lip pencils. So I'm gonna use Morphe, Sweetheart as always, and then I'm gonna put this lipstick on top. That lipstick is almost the exact same color as that lip liner, so it's just this really beautiful, like, super matte, but still comfortable, like brown nude, I love it. Okay, so really quickly, I'm going to fix my hair, and I'm gonna get dressed because I'm running late. I need to go to work soon. So I'm gonna do that, and I'll be right back to give you my final thoughts. All right, guys, so here is the finished look. Hope you guys like it. In terms of my final thoughts, um, so I'm gonna run this down pretty quick because I'm running late for work. But in terms of my final thoughts, foundation, I did like that very much. Concealer is the one thing I'm like, meh. I don't really like it. I don't like the way it made my skin look everywhere I put it. Maybe if my skin was in a different place, it could be because of the facial. I don't know, but I'm first impression. I'm not impressed with that at all. The powders, neither here nor there, like, it's a powder, it's okay, but it didn't, like, wow me, like, my Maybelline Fit Me Loose powder, like, wows me, you know, every time I put it on, it definitely didn't wow me. So, in terms of complexion, I do really like the foundation, but the other things, I'm kind of, like, meh on. In terms of, like, the blush and stuff, I love the shades, I love the finishes, like, those are great. That one palette with all the glittery colors is so fucking beautiful, it's literally beautiful. Um, highly, highly, like, I'm in love with those. Same with the highlights, you guys can see I obviously bathed in that highlight and it is absolutely stunning, super smooth, really beautiful, really pigmented. I really love that. Um, probably the number one on my eyes is those eyeshadow palettes. The eyeshadow palettes are so fucking good. Like they're literally amazing. And I would say if I had to pick like one item of everything I've tried that like stood out to me as like insane as like a standout product from this brand as like something I highly recommend you go get. It is any of the eyeshadow palettes. Like they work so well. Like this look is so beautiful. It blended so easily. They're very pigmented. They're very easy to work with. I highly recommend them. Definitely in like the top of like eyeshadow formulas I've tried. And like I said in the video, very similar to Natasha Denona formulas, 100%. Like I, they're very reminiscent to me of Natasha Denona. Um, the brow products were like, they worked really well if you're in the you know, need of brow products. I think you'll like them if they're in your price range and you want to try something new. Do I think they're exponentially better than like Benefit or ABH or any other brow product I've tried? No, but they obviously work really well. I think they look really nice. So I think it would just depend if you're in need and you want to try something new, maybe a different brand you haven't tried before and they're in your price range. I don't think you'd be disappointed, but I wouldn't say they're like crazy good, better than anything else I've ever tried. Definitely the eyeshadow though. And then, um, 
The lipstick is so comfortable. I really love this color. This formula is really nice. I haven't had a chance yet to try the other ones. The other ones seem to be like the creamy liquid lipstick, so it's probably not gonna be a matte, which is kind of right up my alley. So I'm very excited to try those out. But yeah, of everything I tried, I'm very happy pretty much with every single thing that I used from them other than the concealer. I think if I took out the concealer, I would have been 100% impressed with everything from um, this brand that I've tried so far. And yeah, I'm really excited. Also, the brushes are so effing soft. I mean, I don't know. There are very soft brushes that are very inexpensive. So it's really to each their own. But again, just in terms of the product itself, not comparing it to like something cheaper. If you're just asking me, is this a good brush? Are these good brushes? Yes, they definitely are and they're very soft and they're very nice. So yeah, that is it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you wanna see any other looks with any of the other different palettes and stuff I mentioned or products in this video, and I will see you next time. Bye.